Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Is this pistol still relevant? That's the question with today's video and I have received a lot of feedback from people with this series and I've certainly enjoyed it. So what did I feature last week? Well, it was the Remington RP9. I've had this for a long time. It was budget priced. Initially, it received poor coverage and people said, I don't want anything to do with that. But those who own it say, yeah, that's a pretty darn nice handgun for right around 250 bucks. They chamber it in nine millimeter, which is what this is. And also in 45, full size handgun, decent magazine capacity, decent shooting handgun. But the feedback that I received was, you know, it's, it's really not that relevant given it doesn't have the updated features like optic ready, slide cuts, various other features that people love with the modern handguns of today. And I don't disagree with them. Of course, I had a lot of people said, if it shoots, it's relevant. And, and I understand that point. But the goal of this series is to get some thought with some pistols that you may not have seen in a while. This one, I think, is going to drive some conversation because at one time, the Steyr M9A1 was highly sought after. If you saw one in your gun store and you went back the next day, it probably wasn't there. People wanted the Steyr M9A1. Very hard to come by. It was never super loaded in the gun store cabinets it was like one at a time and then they have various sizes and so forth and this one is in od green it has 17 round mags this one's the m9 so it has the four inch barrel wide slide width nice trigger and then the reset very short it has trapezoidal sights so it has those angled lines and a triangle in the front you just fill it in, and it's pretty darn accurate. Nice shooting handgun, no doubt about that. Nice ergonomics, but then they came out with the M9, the L9, the C9, M2. And that drove a lot of attention, but it still doesn't have the optic-ready option that I have seen anyhow. Maybe they're working on it, but if you look at Steyr as a company, it seems their focus is rifles they have a huge line of precision rifles hunting rifles modern sporting rifles and they only offer the m9 l9 c9 m2 and and that's it and they don't make them optic ready and you never see them so is it still relevant i i tend to think that it is fading off into the past Unless they are working on something that nobody knows about, the Steyr handguns that at one time was highly sought after, you never hear about them anymore. You hardly see them. When was the last time you saw somebody review a Steyr? Do they work? Yeah. Are they accurate? Yeah. They, they have all the, the shooting components that people want, but they don't make them optic ready and they don't really produce them enough so that you can find them at your local gun store. And therein lies the problem. The Steyr handgun that was once highly sought after is hardly spoken about at this point. So is it still relevant? I know I'm going to get people that say, well, if it fires, then it's still relevant. It's a it's a tool, and, and I get that, but would you choose something else over the Steyr M9 or the L9 or the C9? At one point, I had all three of them. I loved them. I said, these are great. I'm fortunate to get my hands on three. A lot of people have trouble getting their hands on one. But in today's world, with the modern features I spoke about, that drove down the conversation with the RP9 that I just featured still applies with the M9A1. Does it work? Sure it does. Does it shoot accurately? And, and does it do what it's supposed to do? Absolutely it does. But it doesn't have the modern features. In in my eyes, it doesn't seem like Steyr has any ambition to create modern features. If they did, they would take the M9, L9, you name it, A2, MF, modular frame, and create a handgun that was, one, available, two, had modern features, three, priced right, and made it so that shooters wanted to compete and defend themselves with it. And you just don't see that from Steyr. You see rifles. Is there anything wrong with that? 
No, but the question in this video is, is this still relevant? Is it something that you would go for? If you saw this exact handgun at your local gun store for say 450 bucks, would you buy it or would you pass it up for something else? And if you pass it up for something else, then in my eyes, in, in your thoughts are that, that this is not relevant. So I'm looking forward to getting your feedback on the Steyr M9A1 or the M9A2 MF L9, the larger one, the C9, a little bit shorter. You know, it, it's just an interesting concept to see how at one point Steyr was on top of the field and now they're like on the bottom. You just don't hear about them anymore. And it is my opinion that they have put their efforts toward long guns, and this is just secondary in the back of their mind, and you hardly see them. Therefore, that tells me that it's fading off in into the past, into the sunset. So that's my thought. I look forward to getting your thoughts. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching, and you guys be safe.